Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Everyday Life with Aisha. I am here to do a hair tutorial on this beautiful black-owned crochet hair that I found. Three times boho singly twist. This is 20 inches, and I have it in the color 1B27. I'll show you the 1B27. This is the 1B27, and it has these beautiful curls coming out the sides as well as at the bottom in the color 1B27. I have it in the 1B35, which is this one right here. And then I also have it in the 1B30. So my domology is about 21 inches around. So I usually take between four to five packs of hair. So I do have five packs of hair. I wanted to add some hair jewels to it. So I picked this up from my local beauty supply store as well as the hair. I have a crochet hook, which you can get at any beauty supply store for 99 cents. This is how the hair comes packaged. It has three sections, the top strands, the middle strand, and the nape. At my local beauty supply store, it is valued at $11.99 a pack. So I got the five packs at $12 each. Now at the beauty supply store that I go to, if you spend a certain amount of money, you get rewards. So I actually only end up paying for four packs because of the rewards that I get. But... I started my hair with a traditional braiding pattern. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 braids across this way and 4 going straight back. And I, I put them in diagonally going all the way back. This is what it looks like. The 20 inches on me. This is what it looks like from the side that I still have to fill in. This is what it looks like from the back. I still have all this up top, and then this is what it looks like from the side. So it's a very beautiful peanut butter and jelly curls that I have. Um, and it's very fulling. As you can see, there are no gaps in my crochet. It's very curly. And it's so full that I can actually pull it over and cover the whole side. It looks like my hair is done. And it's not even done yet. But look at how beautiful this peanut butter and jelly mixture is with the 1B and the 350 with that beautiful blonde. I just love this combination of colors. It's so beautiful. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, make it very casual if you want to. It's very versatile. I could wear it up in a ponytail if I wanted to. If I was to put it in the ponytail, it's so full. Look at how beautiful that is. I just love that blonde and 350 mixture. It just looks so good together. Mixed with a nice pop of that 350. Gorgeous. So sit back, relax, grab a snack as I install the rest of this hair. And I will get right back to you very shortly when I'm done so that I can reveal the final look. All right. Stick right there. All right, y'all. Now, I am down to my last row of hair. I'm going to show you a close-up of how I install this hair. I go up underneath the, the braid, apply it to my latch hook, and bring it through. Then I open up the twist, put it inside one time and then slide it across once i get done with all of this row i will moisturize my scalp add my beautiful jewelry to my twist and show you a couple of style ideas that you can do with this hairstyle because this style 
I mean, these twists are very versatile. Um, I'm in the bathroom, so I have a mirror in front of me. So I can make sure I'm doing it the right way. I try not to overcrowd the part. Hopefully this is simple enough to follow step by step what I'm doing. My last two twists and then this hairstyle is done. I say it is done. Done, done, done. And this right here is a slip, sip and slay. So I'm sipping on my good old swept ginger ale. Mm-hmm. As I slay these twists, because you're working hard, getting cute, sometimes makes you thirsty. So I like to quench my thirst with some good old swept ginger ale. I used to drink dark soldiers years ago, but I don't drink them anymore. So this is the end result. I personally like a side part. But some people like a middle part. So to each his own. Mine is a side part. But I will show you that it is versatile. And you can wear a middle part with this style. Okay, so this is the middle part from the front view. Move the hair to the back. Right now, look like they're coming from to look like they're extra for coming to America. All right, so this is what it looked like from the front. Now, as you can see, very flat to my scalp. This is what it looks like from the side. Remember, it's the length 20. This is what it looks like in the back. It's very full, no gaps. See how long it is in the back. This is what it looks like on the other side. I gave you some shoulder. This is beautiful. I love it. So, as I told you, I have some hair jewels here. So I'm gonna add my hair jewels to my hair. I hope I can open this up. I don't know if I have scissors in here or not. If not, I might have to stab it with something. sore for so many days so I said I'm not gonna do that no more. Absolutely gonna be careful. So these teeny little baby I don't know what these things are called. I'm gonna say African shells. I think that's what they're called is African shells. So I'll open them up Put them in random places in my hair. Mainly in the in the front. I don't want to put them down too low, but a few. I usually don't show you guys this part, so I said I'm going to add this part to my video this time because I didn't do it last time. And 85% of my twisted crochet. 
I add jewelry to it. So whether it's these things right here or whether it's the um, all gold ones without the shells, I always add it to my hair, but I don't always put it on in my video. So I said today, I'm going to actually put it on while I'm doing my video. And there's no set place that I put them in. I just randomly grab a twist, pull it up, and then just add it on to my twist. All right, that one's on the floor. So that one won't get attached to nothing. But. I got like four more. So I'll throw those in the back. So that's what it looks like. I got three more. Throw them in the back. And then I'll do my styling for you guys. Put this one a little bit lower. It seems like I put them all up top. I don't want them all up top. I'm gonna put a few down at the bottom too. So it can actually be seen. Put them down at the bottom. I just don't want it to get tangled up in the hair. So just move the hair out the way. Squeeze it pretty tight at the bottom. Then I got one more. I'm going to put her up top, top of my head somewhere. Okay. I'm clumsy, y'all, so I dropped my twist. All right, I'll put it right here. All right. So, ta-da! Here we go. She's done. So... I have several ponytail holders. It's a 30 pack. And then I got the long scrunchie. I also have some wild hair growth, which I'm going to use to put in between my parts. Because the whole point of having a protective hairstyle is to protect your scalp from the season. But you want to make sure you have healthy hair. So it's important to make sure that you grease in between your parts at least, um, I'm going to say every other day because your scalp gets dry in the winter. When it's a summer crochet, I don't um, grease it that often. But in the winter, I feel like my scalp is like a sponge and it just absorbs all the oil that I put on it. So. My scalp can never really get enough of the oil that I have. Um, there's a white bottle and there's a yellow bottle. The yellow bottle is Wild Growth Light. I have extremely thick hair, so I personally don't use the yellow bottle. I've tried it in the past, and I don't like the speed that it helps my hair to grow. It feels like it goes so much slower. So I personally don't use the yellow one anymore, but if you have curlier hair instead of thicker hair then the wild hair growth light would be good for you but my hair is extremely thick anybody who has ever seen my hair my natural hair you know it's long and it's thick and that doesn't work for me so I prefer the wild hair growth in the white bottle for myself so this long scrunchie I would use if I wanted to put all my hair up in a ponytail um 
All right, let's see if I can do this. It's kind of heavy. So I'm going to do it actually in sections. So you guys can see what it looks like up in a ponytail. This is a big, curly, fluffy ponytail. But it's a ponytail. So, this is what it looks like with all the hair up in a ponytail. Nice little wild hair growth on my edges. It's nice and moisturized. And this is what it looks like from the back. See how full it is? I love that. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. I really, really like that. This is my first time using this hair, so I am extremely excited. I love how this came out. This is so pretty. I really, really, really like this color combination. It looks good. So, um, my handy dandy mirror helps me to see the back of my head when I'm doing stuff. And I am absolutely happy with this. I like it. Okay, so for my edges, trying to grow my edges back so I have this ORS hair fertilizer tempo balm so I'll put this on every morning because I'm about to take my hair and put it on put a turban on it I'm not gonna put it on my scalp on camera but I absolutely love this I've been using it for about two weeks now and I'm gonna have to buy some more soon but it really is helping my edges because my edges are very, very thin. They're not bald, but they're just very, very thin. And I want them to thicken back up. The wild hair growth rolling down my face. Um, yeah, I want my edges to grow back. So I, I don't put tension on the edges anymore like I used to because I'm trying to get them to grow back. But this is the hairstyle that I chose three times boho singly twist and the one B30 one B350 and this is the one B27 which is that beautiful beautiful blonde color when I tell you God has smiled on me he has been good to me <laughs> let the church say amen let the church say amen again I can sip on that Every time I turn around, woo, you keep on making a way for me. When I think back over my life, God has been good. And now I look just as good as God has been to his daughter. So, I pray that you are blessed, no stress, nothing but happiness. If God says yes, I will be back very soon with another video. Please be kind to one another. Life is very short. If you are new to my channel, thank you for coming to check me out. I appreciate you. Won't you consider subscribing? 
Join the family. Join the fun. Hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time I upload another video. And if you are one of my regulars, good to see you, boo. So happy. And I appreciate all your support. We have finally made it to 100 subscribers. Look at God. Won't he do it? Oh, yes, he will. So, I appreciate you. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tag, to share, to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I have new videos coming up. All right. Have a good one. Peace.